Dean Workman here for ITNewsAfrica.com at the Gartner Symposium being held at the CTICC Cape Town, South Africa. Today we're with Brian Burke, Vice President and Head of Research at Gartner. And we will be discussing the top 10 strategic technology trends for 2018. Brian, welcome. Thank you. So getting started, Brian, can you highlight these top 10 trends for us? I certainly can. First of all, let me just give you uh, an explanation of what these trends are. We're looking at the top 10 trends that are going to most impact organizations uh, over the next sort of two to five years. So we're not looking way, way out in the future. We're looking um, at what is going to affect organizations really in the, in the near term. And um, the way we've organized these trends is we've grouped them, so we've got 10 trends, but we've grouped them in three areas. And we call that the intelligent is one area, digital is another area, mesh is another area. In the area of intelligence, um, we really are looking at um, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and those related technologies, um, and looking at you know, the core technologies that are enabling um, machine learning primarily uh, today. And then we look at um, intelligent apps and analytics, so those things that exist in the virtual world, not the physical world, um, that are uh, really you know, advancing. So things like chatbots and virtual personal assistants and those kinds of things. And then we look at intelligent things, which are things that exist in the, in the physical world um, that are, uh, you know, a lot of intelligence is being applied to, and that would be things like uh, robotics, autonomous vehicles, drones, and those kinds of things. So that's the way we look at um, the intelligent part of the intelligent digital mesh. Um, when we're talking about digital, uh, really what we're talking about is some of the, you know, uh, some of the areas where we're seeing the spanning between the virtual and the physical worlds. Um, and one trend we talk about in that area is what we call the digital twin. Um, a digital twin is a digital representation of a physical object. And this, tech, this kind of technology has been developing for the last couple of years, but it's getting more and more pervasive today. And so a digital twin could be a twin, a, a, a virtual twin of a jet turbine or a windmill that's loaded with sensors that is able to um, create the digital twin that is um, uh, monitoring um, and operating uh, those kinds of things. We also look at um, cloud to edge computing. So what that means is that more and more of the compute power is moving to the edge, particularly with IoT, um, because of the need, the, first of all, the volumes of data that are generated and the need to do the, more of the analytics um, at the edge. And so that's why we're looking at, at that. Another area is conversational systems. Conversational systems really flips the paradigm of how we interact with technologies. Um, moving from where you have to be technology literate to be able to interact with the computer to where the computer takes on that role and it becomes people literate to interact with you. So you see those technologies with Siri and Cortana and other things. Um, and finally, uh, in that you know, area of the digital, uh, we're looking at the immersive experience, which includes things like virtual reality, um, augmented reality, mixed reality, um, and all of the other sensory perceptions uh, that go along with that. So we're looking at a more immersive um, experience overall. Um, in the area of the mesh, we're looking really at the underlying technologies uh, that are enabling this, so things like blockchain. Um, blockchain provides bro blockchain distributed ledgers provide for um, trust in an untrusted environment um, and also enable smart contracts so that um, through the execution of let's say a shipment moving through a supply chain um, it can trigger certain actions to occur. We're looking at event driven and what we mean by event driven is a shift in the way that we're um, managing processes moving from being request driven to becoming more event driven. That doesn't mean request driven goes away. Request driven, which is how we've always programmed computers, request driven continues, but event driven adds in. So now that we have additional things, sensors in the environment and event triggers, they can trigger, trigger um, situationally adaptive processes that are intelligent. And so, you know, if, if your plane is canceled, then a process can click in that can deal with that. 
Um, and finally, we're looking at continuous adaptive risk and trust. Um, and that's shifting the way we're looking at security from you know, blocking people with firewalls and blocking people uh, th through access uh, to be able to more continuously monitor the threat um, and eventually become more predictive in terms of when a threat, uh, when, when a threat occurs. So these trends cover quite a wide array of uh, industries. Which, which industry do you think will be affected the most by it in Africa? Well, in Africa, I think that, you know, um, of course, first, first of all, let me say, all industries are going to be affected by this. Um, but in Africa, um, you know, specifically, uh, being a resource-based economy, I think that um, uh, the Internet of Things is going to have a huge impact um, on, uh, on, on Africa generally, sort of disproportionately uh, to the rest, um, because of things like Rio Tinto right now, in their minds, they're already using autonomous vehicles. Um, and clearly, you know, the, the, the market for natural resources uh, is a global market. So in order to stay competitive, and with South Africa being a resource-based economy, you're going to have to look at, you South Africans are going to have to look at um, where are they competing in global markets and where can they, you know, not afford to fall behind in terms of leveraging these technologies. So, you know, I'd say, I'd say that that, that uh, is probably one of the most important important ones. Let me just also point out that the whole general area of artificial intelligence is going to have a massive impact on organizations globally. Um, and so, you know, not only affecting South Africa, but South Africa needs to be there as well um, in terms of, uh, you know, how uh, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning are going to change the way that we are interacting with technology. Um, and so I'd say that, you know, that's another, certainly another important trend to watch. That leads very nicely into my next question. Are businesses in Africa taking this seriously enough and adapting quick enough to these trends? Um, I would say that, you know, um, in South Africa, people tend to underrate their level of innovation. Um, uh, when I talk to South Africans, you know, uh, I hear a lot, oh yeah, you know, we're not very innov innovative here, but we're doing this, which is actually really innovative stuff. Um, and so I think that, you know, South Africans need to keep being innovative um, and need to ab aggressively pursue this. So I think that I, I think that there's a perception that South Africa is not innovative, but what I actually see is that there's a lot of innovation going on here, and I think that, that you need to lose the perception and carry on with the innovation. In closing off, Brian, can you pick out one or two uh, trends that you think will make the biggest impact? Well, you know, let me go back to uh, let me go back to artificial intelligence um, because of all of the trends, that's the one that is going to um, really impact everything. It, you know, you can think about artificial intelligence kind of the way that we thought about electricity a hundred years ago um, when we wanted to improve a process or a procedure. We added, you know, electricity. So if you wanted to improve the way that we made, uh, you know, the butter, we added electricity, electric motors to churns, we added electric motors to looms, um, and artificial intelligence is going to be the kind of same thing. We're going to add artificial intelligence to virtually everything, you know, not just apps, but also things. Um, and I'd say so as a, you know, the single trend that's going to be overriding um, in the future, I'd say that that's, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for joining me. My pleasure.